Hi, First Baptist teams. My name's Robbie Santos, and Brother Webster asked me to take a couple moments to share a devotional with you guys and hope this can be a blessing to you guys. For those of you guys that don't know me, I can be a, a little dumb at times. I also really love basketball, and many of you guys don't know this, but I actually schooled a professional basketball player, Mo Bamba. But I wanted to take a moment to share something with you guys, something that we all struggle with. Throughout this week, we heard about a couple different things about how we can deal with anxiety, how we can put our trust in God, how we can have better faith in God. But if you would for a moment, I'm going to go ahead and use this glass here to illustrate something. This glass is going to represent you and I. We can see clearly that it's empty. There's nothing in the glass. But a lot of times as we're going through our life, there's many different distractions that we come across through our day-to-day -day lives. So some of the times that we tend to fill ourselves up with are many of the different distractions and some of our hobbies. Let's say, for instance, basketball. Many of the teenagers within the youth group love basketball. They might want to what LeBron James. Maybe even play just like LeBron James. Even try to dress like LeBron James. That's one of the many distractions that we have. Another distraction we have is maybe even social media or technology. We're so consumed about how many likes we're getting on different posts, and that tends to be able tends to be something that tends to fill us up and preoccupy us. Maybe many of you guys in the youth group that are probably dating have a boyfriend or girlfriend that tends to take up all your time, and that's all you can think about. And then what happens? We tend to be too full of all of these other distractions in life and then it comes to the point to where you and i need to try to be filled with the holy spirit be filled with the things of god so we're going to take another glass and use this to represent let's say for instance one of brother webster's bible lessons well what's happened it's not it's not taken going in one ear and out the other don't be lazy how about something else like our bible reading maybe we attempt to try to read a verse or a passage of scripture try to soak it in but we're already too full the reason I'm using this to illustrate is the fact that a lot of times we tend to use all of our distractions, our hobbies, something else that we've got going on in life. We tend to fill ourselves with it. And when it gets to the point to where we're trying to receive something from the word of God or from God's preaching or from the Holy Spirit, we're too full at that point to be able to receive anything that might be helpful as, uh, in our growth as Christians. So the question I have for you today is how can any of us expect to be filled with the Spirit when we're so full of ourselves? How can we ever empty ourselves so that we can be filled with the Holy Spirit? In Psalm 51, David is pleading to God. He had just committed a great sin against God and he's begging him, praying to him, saying, purge me with hyssop. He's saying, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. He's coming to that point where he acknowledges that he's done wrong. There are things inside of him, things that he had, that maybe had been on his mind, that he just needs to get rid of, get completely out of his life so that he could try to restore his relationship with God. And that needs to be our prayer. How can we, God, get these things out of my mind? How can we get all these distractions out of the way? God, give us clarity so that we might be able to develop our relationship with you and be truly filled with you and not filled with ourselves. Thanks for your attention today, and I hope all you guys are safe and doing well. God bless you.